Hello everyone, welcome back to Vase Plays Europa Universalis 4. So we are going to watch the Mongol or sorry, the Oriet Heart Horde get crushed by the Uzbeki people. And uh, hopefully they'll give us some slim chances to take on the Mongol Khanate. So what happened in the last episode, we teched up on military, and uh, we're soon to tech up on our administrative powers, I think. Which is good! Um, Ming went to 3-2, that's bullshit. That is such bullshit. <laughs> oh well, not a whole lot we can do. <laughs> Conflicts and protests over taxes, corporations, trade, and custom policies are becoming quite frequent and could result in a sharp drop in our industrial production if we don't handle the situation careful. Um, we'll just lose the money. Um, in one more month. Oh no. Um, when does the when does the warning end? If they're losing against Uzbek and they are, um then we may be able to come in and snag some of their vassals' land um, once this imperial decree ends. That would be ideal. Um, again, I don't know how many men they're sporting. These aren't their only three. Only three. Um, so let's let time tick down a little bit more, and we should go to diplomacy. <laughs> ah, yes, Korea wants to have another war with us. Historically, that's gone so well! <laughs> um... The Imperial Warning is out to Bengal, Shan, the Oriat Horde, Manchu, Ming, or Korea, Longjiang, and Ayutthaya. And it ends... <laughs> It doesn't tell us anymore. <clears throat> I don't remember getting another warning. So, and again, sorry for the sniffling. It's just this this cold has been going on forever. Um. So, in one more year, the imperial warning should go away. Should. That doesn't, you know, that doesn't mean. Ah, worn by Ming. Um. Uh, oh, shit. It's 64. Has it always been 64? I don't remember it always being 64. And man, their emperor is great! When I played the Ming arm, my emperor was crap! Alright. Uh, Japan likes us. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um, let's hope they stay at war with Uzbek. Apparently, China decided not to go to war with them. Assholes. Um. And then, uh. It'd be nice if we could have three stacks of seven men. I don't think that's going to happen, though. Um. So, yeah. Hopefully, we'll be able to take up once in an industry or administrative technology. And, uh,. Historically, things have gone bad for me after the fifth episode, so, um, it'll be interesting to see how things go from here. We're obviously taking the Mongols, um, which is interesting, to say the least. Diplomacy's not our bag, as it were, baby. But yeah, we want to take Dornod, Zillin, Gol, and Jurum. And we are slowly ticking there. We could also go after Hokkaido over here in the Terra Incognito. Incognito. Incognita. Apologies. And uh, definitely would like, wouldn't mind getting Taiwan either. Um, because I think that is, in the end, how things are going to go. We'll butt up against the Oriet Horde in, in a little while here, and that will probably make them testy. <laughs> and we're teching up... A, they, they haven't teched up yet. 
Are they still at war with the Uzbeks? Yes. Are they still at Oh, wow. Holy shit. They've turned it around. That's not good. Um, I will save. <laughs> and uh, go from there. And if it goes bad, we'll end the episode and we'll start back at the save point. And um, I don't actually know what we'll do at that point. Uh, just a little bit more time. A little bit more time to just sit around and wait. We could finish off Korea. We could do that. I really kind of... I don't know why I want to expand out here. We're a very linear country, is all. And that may stand the test of time. Um, there's a lot of islands down here. A lot of islands. It's very possible that we could uh, go a completely different route. I don't know. It'll be an interesting ride. I wouldn't, again, I wouldn't mind westernizing. It will help us out a little bit. Again, I'm sorry for the snuffling. Um, so, yeah. Um, oh. We have found common grounds with one of our neighbors in the fact that we, um, Korea's opinions changed. Does very little <laughs> really to do any good for us, but, uh, yeah, 50, yeah, yay Confucian ideals, even though it's not actually a religion, hooray. I did do some research on a lot of stuff, okay, we are ticking down relatively quickly, it's five, six, seven, okay, okay. We should no longer be warned anymore. Okay. Um, December 1464. It is this. Okay. We should no longer be warned. This warning is valid until the 7th of December. 16th of December. All right. Okay. We're going to save. The warning should have expired before they try to slap down another freaking warning on us. Close. Um, who is... Who are they going... Um, yeah, let's see. There we go. We should no longer be on their warning list. Uh, we are, which is bullshit, but it sh we shouldn't be. So I'm going to declare war, take their... Um, Low maintenance. No, my maintenance is maxed. It should be maxed. Oh, fleet maintenance. There we go. Yeah, that did it. Um, country is at war. Okay. Okay, Mongol Khanate. Yep, I figured that, that would happen. And Jilin Gold. Okay. And the Ming joined. Um, so, that's BS. But uh, that will end this episode. Yeah, the warning extends forever, apparently. Um, so, this is going to be a short episode because that's total bullshit. Um, and our ports are blockaded by the Ming, of course. Um, yeah. It is uh, 1465 now. So we wasted a whole lot of time. Not that like we wouldn't have been able to. Um, apparently, uh, we're not being warned anymore. Oh, that's stupid. Um, all right. So uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching.